Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to have a little bit of a rant because some huge news just happened recently, Adobe purchased Figma and we are going to talk about implications on the whole design community who are using both of these tools, Figma and Adobe XD. If you're new to the channel, welcome, my name is Alex and I create videos about Adobe XD. I'm also Adobe XD ambassador and in this video I'm going to give you just a bit of an insight about how I think about this change and what's going to change in my opinion. I don't have any concrete evidences about anything that's going to happen because truthfully said, nobody inside of Adobe either doesn't know what's going on or doesn't want to tell what's going on because Adobe Max is just around the corner, they want to present all these new changes to their entire line of software, so their main focus for this Max is not just this merger and this uh, purchasing of Figma, but actually some other changes to some other softwares that they have, like for example Photoshop or Illustrator or Premiere Pro or something like that. But since we are UI UX designers in this video, as I said, we're just going to focus on buying Figma on the side of Adobe and what does it mean for Adobe XD? As I said, nobody really knows, so these are just my opinions, what's going to happen over the next 12 to 18 months as this whole thing unfolds. So in the first place, why did Adobe purchase Figma at all? In my opinion, it's just they don't want any competition and $20 billion, I'm going to leave the link to the publication which is left by both Adobe and Figma in the description down below so you can read it for yourself and see the whole details of this deal. But basically over the next coming months and over the let's say 12 months, Adobe is going to slowly um, go inside and basically merge uh, Figma to uh, themselves. What this means is both teams on Adobe side and on Figma side have to meet multiple times, they have to compare their technologies, they have to compare their let's say work ethics and the pipelines as to what's to come in uh, the future Figma updates, what's to come in future Adobe XD updates, compare the two and see where they are going to go in the future. So. In this video I just want to cover my opinions and what I think is going to happen because it can potentially be hugely beneficial for us designers to get these two technologies merged into one place. The main complaint I see online is from designers who are using Figma, designers who are using Adobe XD just don't care about this merger, but designers who are using Figma care about it and they mostly care about the money. They don't really seem to care about Figma joining Adobe as per se, but they care about the money. Will they have to pay uh, more to use Figma? Will Figma exist in the future? Will Figma just merge with Adobe's Creative Cloud Suite and just become the part of it like XD is, for example? So they are really upset about the future pricing, even though none uh, not nothing of the pricing has been said so far because as I said nobody really knows what's going to happen in the future and the most vocal part of the design community are actually designers who don't have to uh, pay for subscriptions or licenses at all and those are just beginner designers who are just entering the world of design and I feel your pain but you have to also understand that these are businesses 20 billion dollars is a huge sum of money that's the five times valuation as i saw of figma uh, they have uh, annual revenue or somewhere of 400 million dollars so 20 billion dollars is a way 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 overpriced and the one reason i think adobe did it is just because of technology because you see for us as ui ux designers Adobe XD or Figma is what matters and for most of us that's where the design story ends. Not all of us care about Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, all of these tools, but majority of these designers out there do care about those tools and don't care about Figma or Adobe XD. Those designers are motion designers, graphic designers, photographers, 3D designers, all sorts of different people care about those tools and don't really care about UI UX design tools like Figma or XD. But Figma has something which Adobe really needs and that's working in the browser. 
ever since the Creative Cloud um, suite came out, let's say 10 years ago or something like that, you have to install it on your machine. Every single tool from the software uh, package, whether that's uh, Photoshop or Illustrator or Adobe XD, you have to install it on your machine and you also have to install Creative Cloud app from which you're going to update your tools such as Adobe XD or Photoshop, etc. So that's what Figma doesn't have and you only need a browser to open and start running Figma immediately. Also updates happen instantly because you don't have to click a button and then update the software and you don't have to see all of these loading in the background, you don't have to burden your RAM memory of your machine for example, everything happens in a browser. Of course, if you're using Google Chrome, you know the pain of using Google Chrome and how much it is RAM intensive, so that has its own drawbacks. So why does Adobe even want to purchase Figma? Well. It's my opinion that on one side they don't really want competition, but much bigger reason than that is all of that cloud technology. They want to implement that cloud technology like Figma is working on in the future, so that's where this $20 billion valuation comes from. This is the investment in the future, because down the line in the future, let's say five years time or whatever, they want to transition all of their software to the cloud and they want to have at least versions of all of their software like Photoshop, Illustrator and all of these tools to be cloud based. So anybody anywhere in the world can work inside of the cloud, no matter of your machine and of the speed of your machine. This is of course hugely beneficial to young designers who don't have really thousands of dollars to invest into some huge expensive machinery to be able to work as designers so they're just going to be able to purchase slower and much uh, cheaper laptops and then just work in the browser that's the idea with this merger, at least to me so finally let's talk about what i think is going to happen personally i think there are like three main scenarios uh, as to what's going to happen over the next 12 to 18 months number one nothing is going to change. Adobe XD will stay as it is. It's going to get uh, fewer updates until the team at Adobe and the team at Figma start collaborating, start changing these technologies, exchanging ideas, exchanging um, all of their experiences and basically coming to a point where they can talk and start merging these technologies together because obviously Adobe didn't purchase this to sit at home. They want to use the Figma technology inside of their Creative Cloud suite. So nothing's really going to change over the next 12 to 18 months. Pricing is not going to change. Features are not going to change. Perhaps Figma is going to get some bigger updates, but don't expect them to publish updates like they did previously because they really want to understand what is going on in the future. Number two, Adobe is going to kill Adobe XD completely and switch over to Figma. This is not really likely to happen over the next year or so, but it is a possibility. As I said, nobody really knows what's going to happen, but this is one of the possibilities. Why they would kill XD over Figma, I hear you asking. Well, it's because of that cloud technology, in my opinion. It's much easier to simply implement repeat grid component states and all of these amazing features that Adobe XD has and simply transition them over to Figma and simply populate Figma with those features then vice versa because Figma really works a different route than Adobe XD and also Figma is much better for collaboration in the cloud rather than updating your links, sending the links to your clients and then updating those links through your computer once again like you have to do in Adobe XD. Personally, I always liked Adobe XD more. You can see that by my channel and you can see that by my courses, but I think this is probably how the future is going to hold. They are slowly going to phase out Adobe XD, transition over to Figma, but you don't have to expect this happening overnight. They're not crazy. They're not going to lose their customer base that they have in Adobe XD, but slowly over time transition them to Figma as they start building these features into Figma because I really think they will transition these features to Figma because what's the point of creating them in the first place if you just want to trash them because the whole point of these people using Adobe XD or Figma are those features in the first place. 
And finally, opinion number three is Figma is slowly going to die over time as they take this merger as it comes to a close as people meet and these teams meet and start um, collaborating with each other, exchanging ideas and so on and so forth. Figma is slowly going to start um, phasing out these updates in the future and then just switching the technology over to Adobe and Adobe's other tools, including XD, which in this scenario is going to continue to exist, is just going to take all of that technology for themselves and then start implementing all of these awesome cloud technologies to all of the Adobe's tool. That's my opinions and let me know what you think about in the comments down below. But just have in mind that this is a bigger picture. In my opinion, this is a long game for Adobe. They don't really care about the next year or two or even next five years, but they're just looking down the line and into the future and see where the technology is going to go. And I think that they saw that Figma has some awesome technologies that they really could benefit if they could merge with them, if they could purchase Figma as a company and simply merge them into Adobe World. This is not the first time that Adobe's done something like that. They also own Frame.io. Adobe fonts used to be Typekit, so just pay attention to what's going on in the industry and this is not the first time that something like this is going on but it is the first time that it's getting this publicity and I thought that my opinion might be um, able to clear something at least from this side of the pond and as an Adobe XD user. Thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you think down in the comments below like this video if you like it consider subscribing to the channel because i upload new videos every single week all about design ui ux design passive income techniques and finally adobe xd hopefully for the future thank you so much for watching once again and until next time take care